Durag Wisdom here, folks. Welcome to Earth Date Y2K 19.01.29. You know, I've been thinking about the whole Trump cancer we have in our lives now and the state of the world in general. And, you know, I'm reading a lot of like some George Carlin stuff. He had a thing about one of his little comic routines about who really isn't is responsible for the state of things I mean people support all kinds of scum in the world so I was thinking about this documentary I saw in college it's called if I remember correctly memorandum I don't even know if it's available but it dealt with the Shoah, the Holocaust, and it didn't deal with the guards, the, the commandants, the open stripping the Fuhrers and all those creeps. It dealt with the other creeps. It dealt with the people who got up in the morning or whatever, worked nine to five or whatever, went home to their families, did their thing. The people that got up every day the bureaucrats, the clerks, who kept track of all the crap that these Nazi bastards were doing. All the hair that was collected, they, you know, keep a good track of everything. These scum were good at keeping track, keeping records, for whatever reason. I guess they thought that they were going to get away with it. These are the people that got up every morning and they kept track of the hair. The skin turned into lampshades, the, the teeth that were knocked out of pe people's faces to get the, you know, the gold. The property, of course. The, uh, the children experimented upon. People murdered various gruesome ways, the massacres. The pay, you pay people. Make sure you keep track of the pay. Repairs on whatever to keep the, the, the extermination camps running. And the point of this documentary was that the idea of evil, the idea of the very nature of evil, is something so beyond their understanding and so underestimated evil you know it's a fact that well six million Jews were being murdered and six million others were being murdered but especially with the Jews because you know Jews tried to immigrate to get to 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 get out of the country to get out of those to get out of Germany at that time and they were met with resistance they were turned back like the St. Louis is a, is a famous, infamous, if you want, example of this. People living in Eastern Europe when the, where the Nazis took over, they sat idly by while their Jewish neighbors, you know, were taken away and massacred. People who lived near Auschwitz, they didn't smell the stench of the cremated bodies every day and they went ahead and they did their lives. Elie Wiesel, the late uh, author, Holocaust survivor, wrote a book about this called The Town Beyond the Wall. How people, everyday normal, so-called normal people can continence evil. So when I'm thinking about memorandum, I'm thinking about the town beyond the wall, and I'm thinking about how, well, six million Jewish human beings were slaughtered, that the world sat by basically and did nothing. I'm thinking of what we're having today with this pernicious, evil creep that we have in our, in our office, in our highest office of, of our land. The same old lines, fear of the other, fear of the immigrant, racism, hatred, 
all, you know, separating children from their parents. This guy, Trump, said if he could, he could probably shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and get away with it because he thinks people <laughs> would, would support him to that extent or that they wouldn't care. And you know something? He may be right that a lot of people would allow it and they don't care. There's at least 60 million of them in this country who support Trump. There's all kinds of horrific stuff going on in our world all the time, 24 hours a day. We have these dictators rising up all over the world. I, I often wonder, like, in light of this creep being elected as our so-called president, are we regressing, devolving, going back to less to worse than the naked apes that we are now and how we allow things to happen how we allow these corporations to take over and have all the power that they have how we allow just a very few rich individuals to own so much of our information how we can allow with what we know about this creep Trump how we allow this creep to get away with what he gets away with all the time. Can you imagine if, if uh, President Obama was still in office? Or if he was in office instead of Trump? Can you imagine? You think that the GOP teabagger bastards would let him get away with all that crap? The government shut down not only because of this creep Trump, but because he was supported by the, GO, by the GOP in the Senate. The Trumpists in the Senate. And it's really sad when we have to depend in our two-party Democratic Republic on one party to stand up for our rights when they're in the process now of picking their candidates and some of them are self-made or, or, or self-financed billionaires that are buying the presidency. And we got all this other crap that we've allowed to to come into our lives so that the Republican Party or the right wing of this country have gerrymandering, they have Citizens United, corporations are people too. Is it any wonder that we've lost our rights? Is it any wonder that life is getting worse and worse? Busy watching The Bachelor, busy watching Survivor or whatever or some other reality bullshit. So we got now a reality TV show, Manchurian, Putinian, Kremlinian candidate in our office. An enemy. I mean, all this stuff he's doing to our country and all this chaos he's causing, Putin is laughing. And he's still in office? This creep is still sitting there? He hasn't been run out on a rail and maybe tarred and feathered like in the old days. Something is seriously wrong. Perhaps, and sadly, there are people out there in our country today who would get up in the morning, go to work, and keep track of all the people that are being murdered daily by the governments and the dictators they support.